we are making moves to get out of this country. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> we are Hayden and Aaron, and we're full-time travelers. We spent three years driving around the U.S. in an RV through 34 states and 36 national parks. In January, we sold everything to search for the best vegan food in every country around the world. But just three months into our time in Mexico, the world came crashing down, and we unfortunately returned to the States. We spent four months quarantining in downtown Los Angeles, trying to keep busy by teaching ourselves new vegan recipes. With no end in sight of the pandemic ending in the US, we're happy to be making moves to get out of the country, and our first stop is Chicago. Good morning, everybody. We're back. Yay! So we flew into Chicago on the 4th of July, which was actually a really great day to fly because there was nobody in the airport. So we're back at the airport today, but we're not actually getting on a flight. We're just picking up a rental car. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, we can take our masks off. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> so we're here in Chicago to see Aaron's family. And so we've been quarantining for the last week and we rented a car today so we can go get a Rona test. We're gonna get a brain stabbed. One hour and 37 minutes, got plenty of time. All right, here we go. We have to go all the way to Michigan because we are not residents of Illinois nor Indiana, and they have some pretty harsh requirements of having to show symptoms. So we are using something called Project Baseline that'll allow us to get tested. It's pretty exciting right now because it's like our first adventure back out in the world since the Rona hit. You know, we've been cooped up in Los Angeles for, oh, holy sh We've been cooped up in Los Angeles for four months um, and we're pretty excited because we are making moves to get out of this country. Apparently our easy pass isn't working, so now I've got to pay for the tolls. Okay, so we've gotten off a of highway and we're in Bridgman, Mi Michigan, is yep. that it? Bridgman? We about to get our brains tickled. <laughs> we did get a test in California, in Los Angeles. What's that noise? Sirens, it's 12 o'clock. Sirens at 12 o'clock? Yeah, tornado, like, what is it tornado the siren test. What? Welcome to the Midwest, babe. <laughs> Welcome to the Midwest. Every day, well, not every day, uh, but a lot of towns will do regular tornado siren tests right at 12 o'clock. Some places do it daily, some places do it on the weekends, but it's to make sure that the system that they need uh, works and that it can be heard across the entire area. Huh. So in California, we got a test through this same project baseline um, and they did the nasal swab and it is not pleasant. <laughs> it's, it feels like if you get, um, you like jump into water and you get water squirt up your nose, that's kind of the only way. Okay, we're here. Hello, so we have funny. coronavirus tests. I'm nervous. I'm not, knowing that what it is, even though I have to do it myself. I can do it for you. Great. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Today. <laughs> it's our first date. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, okay, thank you. So what do I do? So you open the wrapper. Okay, go ahead and open the swab. Okay. Okay, so it's about halfway up in your nostril, about up to where the bone starts and your eyes want to water. Okay. Do it a couple of times and it stays there for 15 seconds. Okay, I'm so scared. Alright, start your timer. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's too long. I don't like it. Okay. Ugh. Same thing, other nostril. Okay. Ah, 
I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh. Okay. I don't like having to do that to myself. <laughs> I don't think I put it anywhere near as close, as far in as they did last time to us. I felt like last time it was this it long, was. and they were like, zoop. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh. Your timer. Okay. Sorry about that. No, it happens. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm in. Oh. You have to sneeze while it's in there, just sneeze on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Jesus <Okay>. Christ. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. That was not pleasant. I think I would rather have somebody, somebody else, else do it and go all the way in yeah. than have to do that to myself. And now we have two hours to drive back, but I think what we're gonna do is pick up some food which is so exciting because we're getting a Chicago diner. <laughs> <laughs> So we have a couple of options in terms of where U.S. citizens are allowed to travel. And obviously we don't necessarily recommend people just like go on vacation, a week long vacation. You know, some of these countries are taking really intense precautions. Most countries aren't letting in the United States citizens because we've handled the coronavirus very terribly, which is a big reason why we're getting out. <laughs> So there's a couple of European, Eastern European countries like Croatia, Serbia, Albania, and North Macedonia. They're all open. Additionally, there's a lot of uh, Caribbean islands that are open and I think we are tr leaning a little bit more towards that. So uh, Antigua, Bahamas are open, Jamaica's open, Bermuda, Barbados. Aruba, St. Lucia, um, these are all open. Some of them require testing within 72 hours of arrival, which we have figured out you can get done. Uh, we can order a test and have like a self at home test and then they get mailed in and basically you should get them within 72 hours. So there, that's an option for us as digital nomads, you know, even if we had to quarantine for two weeks somewhere, that would be fine because we plan on staying for at least a month, you know, if not two, two or three months. You know, we've got options and we actually won't make a decision um, until after you guys see this video. So if you have any suggestions, let us know. Okay, we made it to the Chicago Diner. We just picked up our food. Meat free since 83. They are one of Chicago's oldest, if not the oldest, vegetarian restaurants and their food is baller. So we're gonna take it back to the apartment and we'll show you what we got there. I'm pretty stoked. I love their buffalo wings. It's like, it's really good, just thick chunks of seitan. And I've never had their gyro, so I'm pretty stoked to try that too. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Some of the best wings in the country. Ready? It's the same type of seitan, just cut a lot thinner. But that tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki? Tzatziki? Tzatziki! That's good. Okay, so my pastrami. No. So my. What is it? Ooh. A Reuben. Look at this sexy beast. The bread got a little soggy. I would assume that it probably would have been toasted, but it's, you know, that's what you get when you get delivery. But it's got nice thin sliced seitan and kraut and cheese and a nice Russian dressing. 
and pickles. It's literally like everything I don't like in a sandwich all packaged into one. Mm, it's good. It's delicious. It's just a little soggy. Otherwise, it's so freaking good. Chicago Diner has some of our favorite food in Chicago. You should come here when you come here. <laughs> That's all. Party people. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. oh. Jesus. He's getting over into your lane, dude. Oh my god, we're gonna die. It's time for Chicago Diner. Heck yeah. And it's raining. 